Good morning, I'm going to show you today how to create a console application so that you can add your code um, to it and you can execute everything and upload it for your Olympiad program. So now I open Delphi, this is Delphi 10.3. I'm going to create a new application saying file, new, and then you're going to select the console Delphi application. If you are using the older Delphi, you'll go to Delphi 2010, you'll go to File, New, Other, and then you'll select Delphi Projects and then Console Application. But the steps will be the same from that point forward. So if I open this, this is my output, how it looks like. Um, we need to note a few things. We receive inputs as command line parameters using the read line. Um, and also you can use right line for that. Some of the preparation you need to do for the Olympiad, you'll probably take a look at how some of these functions work and how you can get input from different variables. Now let's go to setting and renaming everything. We go start this by go file, save all, and now you can browse where you'd like to save your, your project. I usually save mine on my C drive just fast to working there and you can give it a folder save inside a folder I'm gonna call this one test app and then I'm gonna open that and inside here I will work with a project so I'm gonna just call this one test app underscore p for the project file I'm working with and then this is actually saved for me in that format so now the next thing I'm going to do is just set up my code so it will execute fine i'm going to remove this try don't need to worry about that in this moment just simply delete that and then inside my begin and end we will add our code you will always stop your code with a read ln for read line if you don't have read ln for read line if you don't have the read line your code will execute and disappear and won't look like anything actually happened. I'm going to quickly run this, test it, and then my code actually executed in this stage. It's very important to have this read ln, otherwise you won't see any output. If I just comment that out for the moment and I run my program, you'll see it executed and it was done. I'm going to uncomment that so you can see your code there. So now you will actually add any of your code inside here that you will be using and you can type out everything there for you, um, create variables, add anything like that. So if you're going to use the Psycho Evaluator, um, it will be a good idea to log into the site go to the evaluator I already log into the site if you go to the evaluator I already logged into the site and then you can see um, you can go to any of the rounds I just took a 2019 round one and I would like to go to the statements of the triangle and I'm actually going to use this Pascal file I'm going to download that just going to save this one. Good idea to save it in the same location that you've been working on. Put it inside there. This is the statement that they actually provide with you. So if it's there, you can go browse to your location where it's saved. And then this is the one I just added there. I can right click on this and you can open it with anything, any editor you'd like to um, or you can simply drag it into your Delphi and it will open it over here so you can see the variables that they work with and the name of the program. We will get back to this in a moment but I just want to get these variables, that is what they expect for you to use. I'm going to copy those variables, place it inside my program add my variables and also my read line 
and my right line I'm going to copy that inside here so now if I run my program you will see it starts with the read line expects your values those are long ints so I can type in my integers 15 and 25 and that was my output there there was nothing set to my string type if you set your string type you can stop the program for even do triangle type you can set that to I'm not solving the problem at this moment just showing you how this works the inputs ABC is my first one and there's my output that it displayed and that read line just executes the code so you can see what's going on there so now you actually solve your problem inside here add we you add your code and if you are done with creating your code what you need to do is we can use this template that they provided for you and the code that you added to it you can copy all your code on the inside you can actually use this whole s uh, segment from the variable to the begin and end I can copy that and then from my variable to my begin and end I can paste the code that I used for that and the rest will be the same and then you can simply just save this this project you see this yellow line means it wasn't saved so if I press file save it saves, saves this for me and then I can close my triangle program this is the app that I'm working with, so you can just leave that one there. And then in your SACO evaluator, you can go browse to that again. And where you need to do your submission, you click on submission, and then you choose file, and then you browse to where you saved your file. And this is a triangle one, and I can open that, and it will automatically recognize it as a Pascal file and then I'm going to submit this and I will most definitely get zero because my score was I didn't add any code to it C zero but that's the few easy steps for you to upload the statements from a Delphi application all the way to your Pascal statement